So next, sometimes you'll get to see concept called factorization, right? That is, if I'm talking about this factor is x square minus 3x minus 20. Factorization is like this in numbers. If I'm asking to write factor factor 24, it's like writing 8 into 3 or 12 into 2. Like product of multiple numbers is like basically writing as factors. So similarly, factorizing this is also something like I need to write some expression into some expression, maybe into sum. Because it's a quadratic, I generally would get only two. If it's a cubic, I will get three. That's how we can, you know, sort of understand. So how do I factorize it? At x square minus 3x minus 28. So this is something that we'll discuss in depth in quadratic equations in the equations video. But just to show uh, this, might, even if it's confusing for now, don't worry. If you move ahead and look at the equations, uh, the quadratic equations part in the series, you'll get a good understanding of how to solve this. So this, the way I will look is this. So seven into four is 28. This is the way you have to do. Always look at this constant. If this is one, if there is something coefficient for this also, make sure you multiply both this and this, and then try to split into two factors so that they can be summed up to get whatever I have here, right? So what is this minus 28, right? One into minus 28. So if I split as minus seven and four, minus seven plus four is minus three. So basically I can write this as x square minus 7x plus 4x minus 28. What is minus 7x plus 4x? It's minus 3x. So x square minus 7x plus 4x minus 28 is the same expression. Now if I take x common here, right, for these two, x into x is x square minus 7, right? So x into x is x square, x into minus 7 is minus 7x. Plus I take 4 common, 4 into x minus 4 into 7. Now I have x minus 7 common, so I'll take x minus 7 common, I'll get x plus 4. Right, so the factorizing of this is x minus 7 into x plus 4. That's how you do for a quadratic. Slightly higher powers could also be done in the similar way. Uh, we'll show with maybe some examples, some problems. But this is good enough. If you know how to do quadratic, that's generally mostly required. Beyond that, it's very rare to be seen. but What's the reminder when x square minus 3x minus 28 is divided by x minus 7? So I can do this similar to how we divide. Huh? So x minus 7, like how we do, if I say if 24 is divided by 7, what is the reminder? So we do this way, right? 7, 3 is at 21. So 3 is the left out. So 3 is the reminder. Similarly, I can also do for this. So what will I divide with? I'll divide with x first. x into x is x square x into minus 7 is minus 7x, automatically I'll get minus and this will become plus. At, I was doing the same, right? 24 minus 21 is the 3. So I'll have minus, so minus plus becomes minus and minus becomes plus. So this gets cancelled out. Plus 7x minus 3x is 4x. Automatically this will follow 4x minus 28, right? Then I will do plus 4, so that 4 into x is 4x, minus 4 into minus 7 is minus 28, so it's minus plus. So the reminder is zero. So that's why the answer is reminder is zero. So doing this is definitely a bit complicated and a bit more time taking. The easier method when you see a question like this, find the reminder when some expression is divided by x minus something. Just understand if I substitute x is equals to seven, how did I get x is equals to seven? I just equated x minus seven equals to zero. So I get x is equals to seven. I'll substitute this value in this expression. Whatever I get is the reminder. So 7 in here is 7 square minus 3 into 7 minus 28. So 7 square is 49, 3 7 is 21 minus 28. So minus 21 minus 28 is also 49. So 49 minus 49 equals to 0. So the reminder is 0. Similarly, let's look at this question. Huh? Find the reminder when x square minus 3x minus 28 is divided by x minus 2. So I will do x minus 2 equals to 0. So x is equals to 2 is what I need to substitute. So 2 square minus 3 into 2 minus 28. So that's 4 minus 6 minus 28. So this will come as minus 30. So the reminder when x minus 2 is divided by x square minus 3x minus 28 is minus 30. Right. So maybe let me just do one thing. I'll just do this division to just show that's that that's the correct reminder that you get if we do the way that I was discussing earlier the normal division method. x minus 2, x square minus 3x minus 28. So I'll first divide with x so that I get x square minus 2x. So it will become minus and plus. 
so you'll get cancelled out plus 2x minus x is minus x minus 28 right so i'll just do with minus 1 so x into minus 1 is minus x minus 1 into minus 2 is plus 2 so it will become minus becomes plus and plus becomes minus they get cancelled out minus 28 minus 2 is minus 30 that's the reminder which i got right that's how you know you can simply calculate by just substituting this than rather doing this method uh, this is the easier and faster method no way that you'll get it wrong if you are you know good with normal addition subtraction this might take a bit more time and you know might be difficult as well depending on your comfort zone so stick to this for the reminder we can use the similar logic for the factorization also right so that is like if i know 7 is one of the factor which gives a reminder 0 so once i know that then i can you know try to split it in this way uh, I'll, I'll show you in another example with where that would be helpful for a cubic or higher powers. So for the quadratic, this is good enough. If not, we'll give you another format of finding the roots by using formulas minus b plus r minus b square minus 4ac by 2a. We'll come to talk about that in the equations part, so don't worry.